Hello, my friends of Qatari Labs. My name is Jorge Montoya. Please welcome to this webinar. This webinar is for the spatial data processing of ground uh, for groundwater models in model Muse. Okay, uh, we are going to work with a data set for Oahu Island, and we need that you have two things here. First, okay, what I need is that you have a QGIS installed. If you have QGIS installed, please type 1. If you have QGIS installed, please type 1 on the chat. And then what I need is that you have Air Data uh, NASA account. So Air Data Search. Okay, you need to have an account on Air Data Search. Okay, you get the login. Okay, this is the. Okay, and then if you don't have, okay. Okay, just go here to login. If you don't have. Uh, you can register here and then you create your account. Do you have an Air Data Search account? Please type two. If you don't have, please type no. It's important that you provide me the. the okay, create. Please create your. Please create your account in Air Data Search. Okay, your create your account here. It's important. Okay. Any question? Any question? Okay. Okay, please create your your account there. Great. So then we here on the webinar link we have the we i'm going to download well i'm going to show you the procedure to download the data so the password is hatari labs with capital h and then we just type download if you have if you have downloaded the files please type two three three please if you have downloaded the files please type three Great. So the downloaded files, okay, you have to place it here under, the, you have to place it here, okay, and um, I'm going to rename it this aux, okay, and then you have to extract it here. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. No, you have to download everything. You just download everything here, and this is the uh, this will prompt you the download. Okay, great. So let's start. We have the okay, and here I have some steps that is I use to okay. So let's start our QES, please QES. Ah, okay. I... Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. I mean, I was not sharing my screen. Yeah, I was not sharing my screen, but it's recorded, okay? Because it's... Sorry, 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 sorry. Maybe I was a little bit stressed. Here, you just type... Okay, just to review. Yeah, here you create your your account. Okay, that's something that you have to do. Okay, and then here on the webinar link, 
you have oops sorry wanted somebody wanted to to join okay well here on the webinar link you have the link to the files and then in order to enter the password is Hatari Labs. Okay, and then you just have to download everything and you have to unzip it under your you have to unzip it under your documents. So it's important that you unzip that and then your document. Okay, and then if you are here with me, please type four. And please open your QAS. Please open your QAS. <laughs> Great, great, great. Okay, great. So from the documents, from the webinar we have a check file here that is the pp23 okay we open that please and this is utm some 4 to nat 83 to so the original system of projection is 26 904 Okay, this is 26904, and it will reproject only on the campus on WGS84. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. If you are here with me, please type 5. Okay, and then we are going to select just the... Okay, no, but select as a, as a rectangle. We are going to just select the... Uh, the Oahu Islands, because there are several islands here. Okay, we are just interested in the. Okay, don't worry, Anthony, that we at the end of the video we are going to give you the recorded version. Okay, but just just if you are at the end of the video. Okay, great. So this is the this is the Oahu Island. And then here on layers, we are going to set export selected feature as, and then we are going to export selected feature as, and then we, here we are going to, where you are going to, where you are going to install it is in chip file, no, in output and this will be called Oahu Island 26904 in my case since I have already that version 2 because this is the second version of this okay this will be the chef file name okay if you have exported that okay please type 6 if you have exported that, please type 6. Okay, then we have to zip this chip file, okay? And then we have to zip the chip file. So we go to output and then we select all files that are from the V2 and then we zip it, okay? We zip it, I use WinRAR, so I add to as a zip file okay you can use any any zipper that you want okay and this is the zipped version of the chip file okay this is how easy if you know tupac cloud tupac cloud works with zipped chip file and this is the basic procedure just to zip a chip file okay great if you are here with me please type seven if you have any questions let me know
Okay, great. So let's go again to our data search. Here, let's go to their data search and I will log in, so Montoya. Okay, and I have, ah no, it's, that's not my, Okay, I forgot my password, so I will not a robot. Mm -hmm. Let me let me solve this first. Okay. Okay, now I have my Okay, great. Okay, and now okay, once I load it, I can go to air data search and then the log will remain for this app. Okay. If you are here with me, please type eight. Okay, great, great. So we are going to import the cpg file. So how we import the cpg file here? We use file, then we browse for the cpg file. In model, in output, this is the cpg file, the version two. And then we browse those files. And it has, don't worry, what it says is that it has a clean at some points. Okay. And the CPG file is this one, is this island. Wait, is this island? Yeah, yeah, this is island. This is the Oahu Island, I guess. Yeah, well, but this is island. Okay. So here we type Aster. Okay, and then we are going to download it because there are two Aster files for this, this one. Okay, the name, okay. and this one. Also, just the name file, not the... Okay, and what it appears is the two them files here that are here on the, your downloads actually it doesn't weigh that much control c and where you are going to paste it you are going to paste it on the webinar in raster actually they are there okay so uh, you can use the ones okay if you compare those are the same ones because i have already okay these are the old ones and these are the, it, it says that those are the same ones. I mean, you can 
for example, you can delete this and paste your own. I mean, that's something. Or you can use. A, okay, there is a question that says that how to upload a chip file here. When you want to, you use just file, then you browse the files, and then you just select the zip chip file. Okay, is that right, Nicolas? Okay, great. Right. Okay, so let's open the QS and let's open here on browser. Let's open the rest of files that are here. Okay, great. But let's see and let's explore. These ones are in 4326. Those are in geographical coordinate. Okay, but you cannot make a model with a uh, with the raster files on geographical coordinate. Okay, so uh, you have to first we are going to merge the rasters. We do that with the what is this? With the rasters database meta search sextantival. With the processing tool, okay, that I don't have activated by default, but I activate that close. Okay, the, with the processing tools, we just type merge, and then we can use Jedal raster merge, and then we what we are going to merge is the two of them. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We run this. Okay, and then we have a. What is important is that we have a merge. This is a merge raster. If you are here with me, please type nine. Okay, if you are here with me, please type nine. Okay, great, you are doing amazing. So let's continue. So first, okay, well, we have here the, the island, okay? But my recommendation is not to cut, not first, okay, first you cannot cut this because this is in the EPSG 26 904 and this is in 4326 okay so but what is my recommendation is not to put the raster exactly at the border okay that that is why uh, Avera asked if the raster file is an aster name yes it's an aster name yeah so what is our recommendation is that you clip the raster but uh, you do a buffer of the of the area because you want some space at the size of your zone of interest. Okay, yeah. So that is why we you, we are going to do a buffer here. Buffer. Okay, and then the buffer will be of the Ajo Island, and the distance will be of 10 kilometers. Okay, run. And with that, we have a buffered. Oh. Sorry, this is this has not done any buffer. Okay, once again. Distance is ten kilometers. Ten kilometers is ten thousand. Because this is in meters, okay? Wrong. Okay, close. And this is the bufferet, okay? If you see this is the bufferet. If you are here with me, please type one.
Okay, great. Then we zoom to layer. Okay, we zoom to layer. Okay. And then we are going to clip the layer. Why we are going to clip the, ray, the layer? Because we have to reproject the layer and then you don't want to reproject this whole, even though that is not that big, but you don't want to reproject the whole raster. Okay, you just want to reproject the raster to the extension of the buffer size. Okay, so that is why you clip raster. Clip raster by extend. So the merge will be uh, use the map canvas extend. Okay, and that will work because the canvas. Uh, no. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Yep, it works. And it's in geographical coordinates, okay? Because the original is this one, okay? It has clip, okay? If you are here with me, please type two. You have any questions? Let me know. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Great. So what we are going to do next is we are going to bar reproject bar reproject <coughs> the clipped version to the that is 4236, that it will appear here. If it doesn't appear, you just have to type. <laughs> Disculpe, sorry. Um, 26904. Really sorry, but today I'm a little bit... Uh, I have a small call. Okay. Okay, so with that, we reproject the raster. If you are here with me, please type two. Uh, after the buffer, we reproject the one. Okay, we are going to reproject because the buffer. Ah no! After the buffer, we clip, and then from we clip it because the the raster might be too too big for our design. I mean that because you have a. I mean it creates a when you merge some raster, you have a lot of tension. Maybe. Your area of interest is just one part of that, so that is why you clip in order to in order to have more lighter rasters to reproject to do this operation. And, a better, and then we are working, we are reprojecting that to a UTM because we work with whether we with feet or with meters. Okay, Nicolas says. Yeah, I okay, there is on the on the raster file there is the clipped version okay but okay wait till that okay because i have dropped these files just in case that somebody is not with us i mean it's, it's not at this step okay so this is the reprojected file this is the reprojected file okay and this one is already in utm okay because it has to be in utm okay <clears throat> Oh, 
okay and then this reprojected file we save that we export save as and then instead of because modern muse do not work with uh, with Yotif, it works with surfer so you have to use this golden surfers binary grid okay it's already UTM and this is great but the resolution I mean this is too heavy and sometimes because it's too heavy it's too uh, it's too heavy even for the software and for projecting and for importing so that is why we use 90 by 90 okay we can change the resolution here and as your friend has said in output there is a Oahu raster but in our case it will be Oahu raster v2 because it is a conversion okay if you are here with me please type 3 Okay, great. And then, okay, great. But we do not want only the this raster, okay. But first, uh, all of these uh, unused raster we have to group it. You can delete it, but we can group it as group selected, okay, in a group that will be in any other group because we are just going to work with the Orajo raster v2 and by some reason it doesn't recognize the system of reference i don't know why but you have to apply the system of reference that is this one okay so it has to appear this one okay if you are here with me please type 4 okay and now we are going to fill this okay we are going to create the channel network so let's say fill sinks fill sinks one liu a Ah, this is from Sada. Okay, let me check. Sada is not here. Okay, let, let me ask. Okay, Saga is provider. Okay, I have to. I have to add this this plugin. I don't know why those. Okay, okay. Saga is provider. Okay. And now it's fill sinks of one liu. Of the Oahu raster. And I just want to fill it them. Okay, I just want to fill it them. Okay, run. Okay, if you are here with me, please type 5. If you want any other explanation, let me know. Okay, great. So now we have the fillet them. We have a fillet them that is almost the same, but it, ha it has corrected the sinks. Okay, and then we have channel network. Then we are going to type channel network and drainage basins of the fillet them. And from that, we only want the 
the streams. So we only want the channel, we don't want the drainage basins, we don't want the junctions, we and then we don't want the straddle order and so on. So we are just we want just the channels. Okay, if you are here with me, please type six. Uh, how do I enable? Okay. Okay, there is a question. How do I enable to fill things? Okay. If does if these options do not appear in the processing toolbox, it's because the plugin is not. Uh, it's because the plugin is not activated. So let's go to. Okay, I cannot go right now, but. Okay. Timothy, please go to plugins and see install plugins and make sure that the Saga is activated. Okay, let me know if that will work for you. Okay, great. So now what we have are the channels. Okay, the channel, well, with the, since this part is flat, I mean, there is no channel, but we are going to, we are going to talk about later on. Okay, and then on the channels, we apply the system, and I don't know why it doesn't apply the system reference, but it's this one. But actually for Model Muse, it doesn't matter because it doesn't work with system reference. So we are going to export that as... And here on output, that will be Oahu Rivers 26 because it's already in this system of projection, and this will be the version 2. Mm -hmm. And type OK. And type OK. OK, now we have the channel. Okay, great. If you are here with me, please type six. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, if you cannot find Saga, is because uh, here on install, this one is not activated. So that is why you have to activate it, and then you will find the Saga options here. Okay, but you can use the Oahu Rivers 26904 that is on the repository. Okay, finally. Okay, what we are going to do is we first we have to uh, we have to uh, we need that this EPSG twenty six nine zero four okay has to be in the has to be uh, as the canvas system of reference okay so if it's not just type twenty six 904 select that and then apply okay if not okay and then we are going to use the google satellite <clears throat> okay great and then we are going to plot this is the satellite image okay if you don't have this provider as xyz tiles okay you have to 
create that one. Okay, how do you create that? So you create a new connection, let's say Hatari Labs, and then you paste this, okay, you paste the link that I'm going to provide you on the chat, and then type okay, and with that you create a Google Satellite image, okay? Great. Okay, if you are here with me, please type seven. Okay, if you are here with me, please type seven. Okay, who else is here with me? Just type, just create a new connection here, new connection, and then just put any name and paste the URL. Okay, that's it. Uh, no, the X, G, Y, Z comes in a comes in its own system of reference. Okay, they ask, but it reprojects that to the system of reference of the of the canvas. Okay, great. So what we are going to export is we are going to export the background image. So how we export that is really easy. So here we we just want to plot the image. I mean we don't want anything active, okay? Anything active. And then here export export map to image and where we are going to export that, where we are going to export that we are going to export to the output and it will be Oahu background v2 okay if you are here with me please type 8 Okay, so now the rest is with Model Muse. Model Muse. We are going to create a new mode flow model. Uh, this UTM is in meters, I guess. Okay, how do you know if this is in meters? So just type here. Okay. Okay, so when, when for example, it does say that the unit is in meter because there is a system of projection that are on fit. This one is in meter. So let's go back to Model Muse. Okay, again, Model Muse. No, not Model Muse. This one. Model Muse. New mode flow model. Next. Okay, it's meters, well, seconds is okay. And this will be 26904. Okay, next, mode flow 6 could be possible. Okay, three layers also possible, but let's type the no grid option. If you are here with me, please type 9.
it's the same. I mean, the procedure is the same. I mean, don't doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. So even that, I am using a version of Model Muse that is kind of updated because see what intrusion to package, but it has to it has to work in your own version. I mean, that's all. So file import chef file which chef file we are going to import we are going to import the from the webinar on output we are going to import the oau island 26904b2 because it has to be on utm it ha this one has to be in utm okay set value and close and intersected and that's it and zero okay if you are here with me, please type one. Okay. Okay, so this one is actually doesn't appear because it's here with this one. We are going to use and use an object. We do double click here. And then we are going to use these ones to set a grid cell size of 500. Okay, we define the 500 here. We define the 500 here. And then we generate our grid. And that will be the grid. Okay. If you are here with me, please type 2. If you want that I repeat, I can repeat. Okay, okay. I will repeat everything. Okay, delete that. Okay, and then I just... And then I generate the grid. Okay. First, I... I import the chef file. I import the chef file that is the Oahu Island 96904v2. 26904v2. Set value of enclosure intersected and OK. And this will go to unused, pro, unused object. Why? Because you have not placed that for anything. So we do double click here. Yeah. We select that this one will define the grid cell size of 500. Then you can change the color if you want. Okay, and then just type OK. Okay, and that nothing will happen. Why? Because then you have to generate your grid with this one. Okay, if you are here with me, please type 2. If you want that I repeat again, I can repeat. If you are here with me, please type 2. Ah, okay, okay. There is a question to how to open or close this so is this is here mm -hmm. okay and then we generate okay and that's it with that we have generated our grid if you are here with me please type 2 Okay, then we are going to import the raster file, so file, surface grid file. And then we are going to, on output, we are going to open the OAHO raster. We are going to apply directly to model top and set value of intersected and set value by interpolation. Okay, great. If you are here with me, please type 3. I can repeat again. File, import, surface grid file. Then we are going to link to the OAHO raster. 
we are going to work with model top, set value intersected, and set value by interpolation. If you are here with me, please type 4. Ah, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. If you are here with me, please type 4. And just press OK. And this will import directly the raster file to the... OK, and then you see, oh, but nothing has happened. No, that's not entirely true. Why? Because here on data, okay, first change the, okay, we have to change the, the cross-section and then you will see the difference elevation of the Oahu Island. Okay, if you are here with me, please type 4. Okay, great. Okay, uh, then we can import file, import, we can import the background image. We select the image and this is the Oahu background V2. And when you export from QIS, actually it comes with a GPW that is the reference file, so you don't have to do anything else. And that's it. Okay. If you are here with me, please type 5. So what I have done, file, import, image. And then I just select the image Oahu background P2. Okay, if you are here with me, please type 5. Okay, great. And what finally we have to do is we have to import the chef file, file, import chef file, and then we are going to import the rivers. <coughs> that is the Oahu rivers 26904v2. <coughs> okay, we open that. Set value of intercepted cells, and this will be a model top. Okay, and then you don't see the rivers, and why do you don't see the rivers? Okay, and these are the rivers. There is a question, how do I snap the grid to the chef file? No, you don't have to snap the grid to the chef file. I mean, it's, it's just uh, the location of the grid is independent from, I mean, what, what exactly you want to do, Timothy? Okay, great. So these are the chef... This is the chef file network, but if you want, okay, you want to edit because you have more vertex that you need. So you have to, with the vertex tool, you just have to delete the ones that are, the rivers that are in the sea. You, you can do that.
Ah, okay. Okay. In order to activate the grid, you can activate the grid here, the active part, or the grid, or you can just deactivate it with this one. Okay. Okay. I will delete the the rivers and I will import it again. File. Import check file. And it will be Oahu Rivers 96904 version 2. Okay, with that we open, set value of intersected, and this will be a model top. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's not active by default, but you can uh, you can active, and then you can select the chef file. And once you have selected the file, you can use the vertex tool, that is this one, and then you can delete manually the vertex that are not inside the island. Okay? Great. If you are here with me, please type one. Okay, if you are here with me, please type one. Only one? Okay, great. Well, that will be the end of this webinar. Do you have any questions? Uh, how do you delete the rivers that are on the sea? Okay, don't worry. You just have to go. Okay, first, you have to activate the layer. Then you have to select the layer, okay, when it has to be solid. And then with this tool, you have to delete manually. We delete with the suppress bottom of your keyword, you delete the the extra vertex. Uh, Nicolas, do you want to repeat how to import the chef file? Okay, no. Great. Okay, so that will be the result of today. Uh, I will stop the recording.